is this is a place that we haven't shown you guys yet in live gameplay. So. Ellie is a sign of new content. New content. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie is a sign of new content. Show old stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's not horribly off. Um, yeah. So today we're going to be showing you guys the beautiful Saragos. This is the snowy region of... It's We're still in Mordor, technically, correct? This is in Mordor, still yes. Still in Mordor, okay. Northern Mordor. Northern Mordor. So on the northern side of Mordor, in the snowy region of Saragost, it is cold. There are tons more orcs around here. The wildlife's different. It's more furry, prepared for the ancient cold. And, uh, well, we're going to be running around and showing you guys some of the wraith skills today. I actually see where we are, because it's got that nice vista looking across oh, yeah. Mount Doom and Baradur over there. Oh, that's awesome that we can see from here. All right, cool. Let's uh, look at the other side too, actually, to get a give people a, a bigger expanse of just because I mean the verticality and the how much bigger all the regions are, and just kind of like showing how interesting and different. <laughs> people are asking more furry, as in it's cold up here, so they have more fur. It's like it's of me. <laughs> beard reference. Beard reference. So, all right, cool. So we're gonna run around and hang out in the this outpost and we're going to show you guys a little bit more on the wraith skills and we're going to start off with one of my favorite wraith skills actually which is a i believe wraith a uh, wraith brace of daggers wraith of the wind wraith of the oh wonderful mm. it's, it's the next game that's coming out yep uh so the wraith of daggers is where you press left trigger to do a quick throw of one of the daggers from calabrimbor this is a nice tool to increase your hit streak. It's a nice tool that will allow you to do a little bit of extra damage and cause a bit of a stagger. And what's really fun are these various augments that exist. Uh, Mike, would you like to go in some of the augments and we'll go back and forth as we go through? Sure, cool. absolutely. Because um, that is, I think, one of the things we're most excited about this time that we didn't have in Shadow of Mordor is really the ability not only to unlock these upgrades, but actually to select them and customize them to your playstyle. And not only do that, but to find different builds and different synergies between right. different upgrades and either different gear or different combinations of skills. So it just enormously expands the amount of ways that you can play the game. Um, so the first, oh, sorry, we all can start from the top. Uh, Serrated Edge, really like this one. Um, and we can jump in and demo these. We can probably unlock them first. But basically, critical hits now play or cr critical strikes play a much stronger part in the game because you can now proc them on all mm -hmm. sorts of different effects whether right. that's fire or poison or curse plus they can do more damage so this one works really well if you've got a particular target you want to take down and right. you've got the right gear it is super and actually to add to that so let's say you guys had a piece of armor that said 12 extra health on a critical hit now you could be throwing out blades into a group of people and then with this chance of causing a critical hit on your dagger, you can actually cause that critical hit on your armor to get yourself health. So it can almost be like a, a vampire style health drain. Yep, and even without that, it's just gonna do more damage on that hit as well. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Do you wanna look at this one in game or grab another one? Let's uh, do another one, because it, you throw yeah. a blade yeah. kind of thing. So it's like, let's go with this one and then the next one I think absolutely will demonstrate. Yeah, so the, the swift barrage, so being able to repeatedly tap it and increase your fire rate, you're not going to get those critical hits, but this is great if you want to rapidly increase your hit count or start, you know, um, hitting one target with multiple shots as well. Absolutely. Let's uh, jump down and throw a couple knives into it. Uh, one of the other things related, so let's, the Brace of Daggers, its damage is related to the damage on an actual dagger that you have. So if you get a dagger that has 500 damage compared to one that has 600, the one that has 600 will increase the damage of your Brace of Daggers throw. So what we're demonstrating here, as the multiple daggers are going in and hitting, is if you can imagine one of these daggers had an 18% chance of lighting someone on fire, well now Ellie is able to throw so many more daggers as compared to the critical hit one, she has a much higher chance that she's going to be getting one of those burning daggers to occur. Building the hit counts really yeah. too. And the hit count, yeah, I mean because there are abilities that will increase damage once you pass 10 hits, for example. So this will allow you to quickly build up that hit count before any orc has even managed to get to you. So we're watching the badassery as you're cutting people down. You want to switch to uh, the next one too, because we got a good spread of people. Ah, the Raid of Blades. I keep yeah, wanting so to call Phantom Blades. My personal favorite. Oh, yeah, so we've seen this one a bunch from Ellie on in the E3 demos, this is kind of the one. 
But it's, uh, this has the new addition as opposed to targeting one guy. It's almost the shotgun effect mm -hmm. where you spread it out over large people. In fact, you can almost call the critical hit like the sniper, then you have the semi-auto slash automatic target, and then you have the shotgun spread version if you are fe feeling the first person shooter demonstration. This one also has that if you had that 18% chance of causing fire, you're now throwing five daggers out. So in that exact example where you have one guy who's filled with five of the daggers, one of those should, on average, light that dude on fire. You're also going to increment your hit counter for oh, yeah. every one that you uh, hit. So in one dude. shot, you can be up by five and then sort of segue really nicely from that into a uh, nice brutal execution as well, or right. whatever else you're doing, mighty shot. Absolutely. That was actually a really perfect example right when you said it there. It went from 15 to 19. And there's three. Now that one jumped up to eight. That was a perfect five shot. Uh, Ellie, they want to let you know that they really loved you in The Last of Us. Oops. Oh. Very, very good. That was a good role for me. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> So, okay, so that was, those are the various things. And what, one of the fun things about this is this is also the first skill in the Wraith Tree. So in the first skill in the Wraith Tree, you have so many opportunities on builds and designs based upon what armor you have, what play style you prefer. Do you like being up in front of someone throwing five daggers into their face? Or do you prefer to sit back and throw them more in the swift barrage style. It's kind of up to you. And then there's also armor that can take advantage of that and support it as well. I think, and just getting that first thing of the throwing dagger just oh, yeah. into the mix of combat just for that crowd control mm -hmm. is just so valuable. It pushes um, them back a little too, like with the fan, yep. yeah. which is why I like it. So right. managing the distance, so especially on the higher difficulties now, we're really in a situation where you can't just hit X and Y. Oh yeah, it's uh, we were talking about that yesterday, which I, uh, I mean, we were testing a little bit of Nemesis for just for fun kind mm -hmm. of thing, and it just we had something yesterday where Ellie was playing, and it was two hits or three hits that it took us out. It was two to two to the knee. Yeah. Two, two. He just went bop bop, and then we were down. And we're like, oh no! <laughs> like we were. So anyway, it's uh, I'm I'm actually going to be looking forward to playing some of this hard mode too to kind of yeah. get used to that. I think just the game's so much bigger now that it just makes it so important to really have variety in oh, the yeah. combat and sort of mix up your tactics, mix up the enemies. Absolutely. Oh, and we've un unlocked Elven Light, which used to be known as Wraith Flash mm -hmm. in Shadow of Mordor. So this is, you build up a hit counter, and then you're able to hit the ground, create an explosion that will push people back, it'll hurt them a little bit, and stun them. It also has a lot of fun additional augments. And so you've got seen the Wraith Blast, but let's show you guys some of the augments that we can do. And we'll just kind of run through each one of them, because each one of them has an elemental effect, which helps us express the new of effects of having different elements on your augments. Oh. So yeah, the first, um, obviously out of that we've got fire, so all of our, our main elements. Um, then we've got freeze, which really sets these guys up either to flurry or take them down. That one's mm -hmm. very effective in a group. And then the poison, so one of the places where these are enormously useful is in the overlord fights. Right. So if you go into an overlord fight and his vulnerability or his fear mm -hmm. is to one of these elements, um, this is an example where depending on who your target is in the nemesis system, you're able to customize your right. layout, customize your strategy, uh, and really take these guys down. So it's a big part of why the intel is so valuable, you know? Oh, absolutely. So the enemies are a lot harder and tougher, but if you use the intel and study them, they're going to have weaknesses you can exploit, and this is one of the best ways to do that. All right, let's, uh, let's light some people on uh, fire, too. Oh, if you do poison now in that fire, we can get some bale fire as well. Oh. Yeah. I mean, we can jump ahead and work backwards, I guess, if we would like to. I'm already here, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to grab it really quick. All right, so we're actually we're going to show you guys some bale fire, which is a mix of poison and fire when it happens together. So basically, we get an orc who's currently on fire or currently poisoned. Oh, mix it, yeah, bring them over so they can come, come along, orc friends. So you can see when orcs step into this fire as well. Which uh, I think it just works on the initial Oh, yeah. oh there we go, bale, bale, bale fire right there. So he is in a bad way. So he is burning <laughs> and poisoned. So we'll do another ex uh, explosion of poison as well, but I wanted to take a, a point to point see how people die when they are poisoned. People will slowly lose health during the process. They will also vomit over the course of some time, which will interrupt them and stagger them. And we have one guy, a couple guys who are running right now who are poisoned who will actually just pass out and start to die. So let's see if we can catch one of those guys doing that. Let's see, does the poison still do the same upgrades for your poison? Warden, I'm not entirely sure what you mean. Um, the poison, when we're upgrading right now, affects Elven Light 
Oh, that particular one adds an augment of adding poison. But we do have that ability off the barrels, and when we poison the barrels, to right. not only poison them, not only make them throw up, but make them throw up on each other in a way that then spreads the poison. Oh yeah, they're good. Uh, or go berserk under the influence of the poison and start ta attacking each other as well. Right. There's actually uh, there's a callback to an old stream that when we did the predator skill tree, that's where that skill exists, and yep. so you can add those extra augmentations to the poison when you're poisoning grog barrels specifically. Yeah, so we're obviously just focusing on this one row here, mm -hmm. but you know. They All these combine. different skills interact and combine with each other. Absolutely. Whoa. I threw my mouse. I apologize for the noise. <laughs> so, uh, one of the things, I love how you carried it like it was just some creature. <laughs> like, uh, so, one There's of the mouse. things, I, w I saw a question that was related to if, what's stopping us from adding these different augmentations in the or switching augmentations in the middle of a game? And the thing is, nothing. You can, if you want to, stop, pause, go make it fire. Oh, okay, this guy hates poison, switch back to poison and do that as you see fit. And uh, do we have a, a fire option? Yeah, no. just have to get some health. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, get the, get the health. And we'll talk about that exact skill in just a second, too. That's uh, one of the rate skills. Throw a keyboard. Uh, we don't have a table to flip either, unfortunately. Just, uh, just my lap. So that's all we got. All right. One of the notes I want to point out with the fire is you can see how it's burning on the ground. If an orc is to walk through that fire, or Talion is to walk through that fire, they'll also ignite. So fire has this added ability of not only has the long t over time damage while someone's on fire and panicking as they're on fire, they can also have it spread and walk into it. So it can almost be like a little firewall if needed. So we're going to punch more people and do another fire blast. The Tark Lord's asking if I can actually play the game not on easy. I can, thank you very much. Oh, I can. <laughs> <laughs> so we have that guy. That guy just ran into the wall and did the, like, uh, the animation. <laughs> that was really cool. I haven't seen that before. Let's uh, do a demonstration of the ice now when you're doing the Winter's Breath. And that one also leads really well into a couple other moves. And so specifically, if you guys remember doing a Wraith Stun from the last game, that gave you the ability to unleash a flurry attack. Well, one of the new kind of connections is that we have Celebrimbor freezing enemies now when we do the similar Wraith stun, and then doing the flurry. Well, Winter's Breath also allows things like flurries too. Let's go ahead and uh, you just build this guy up. You could have done a Brutalize and popped up your hit streak enough. I know, I forgot what skills we have. <laughs> have so many <laughs> skills. Winter's Breath, let's do it. Hell yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Winter is coming. Winter, it, it's soon. There it is. And pause. Everybody is, except that guy got through it. But you can see the frozen orcs as they stand there and they start to twitch as they're beginning to break free. Do we have Flurry yet or do we have to unlock the ice one? Next Ooh, one. we do have to unlock that one. So this is, all right, so now that we've demonstrated the ice one, this is really cool because this is another example of skills working together. If we unlock the next skill, which is the ice storm, this is the ability to freeze a guy and then add a flurry. Well, it also applies to the freezing of individuals from other weapons, including Winter's Breath. So let's uh, do a Winter's Breath freezing and a uh, flurry on someone. So I see a couple questions that are asking about uh, followers transferring and things kind of outside the rate skills. If I'm skipping your question, it's because we're focusing on rate skills right now. At the end of the stream, we'll have some time for just random whatever questions you want to talk about. For now, though, everything's going to be focused on rate skills specifically. Uh, what does the purify kill mean? That's uh, interestingly kind of related to uh, hitting someone with a hammer, in fact. Yeah, those are the ones directly from Celebrimbor's light and the right. hammer, so the equivalent of the, the drain and popping heads. Absolutely. And uh, so if uh, Ellie is able to get the final hit on this guy, but everyone keeps interrupting her, then you can actually see the sort of purify hammer smash that comes after one of these flurries of attacks. <laughs> Nobody's letting you do it. Would you like to unlock the next one and just uh, once we get to one, we can do it? Did that guy light on fire because you had a fire augment on your yes. weapon? Ah. Yep. Was that an example of a critical hit? Oh, yeah, you got critical mm -hmm. hits for you. Ah, all right, very cool. So it's uh, our sword right now actually has a fire augment if you get a critical hit. So 
Would that work off of our uh, serrated blade? I wonder, because it's technically the sword. Yes, it would. It would. Oh, oh he no, it would okay. sorry. Because it's it's had. the sword yep. that has it. Yep. So uh, I know that if it's the armor that has it, that's one that works, which is critical hits in general. Oh, what augment? Let's do shower of ice. Because that one's the sort of the shotgun freeze in front of you, and that also allows for some hit streaks up. Let's see, Panda Warrior, is Flurry still free? I'm not exactly sure what you mean by that. Uh, it's a move you unlock, and it comes with the, when you do the stun. Yeah, so it doesn't use any resource. It doesn't oh. use any of your focus. Or... Then, yeah, there you go. That's, that's the, the free. We can do the, the freeze now and perhaps get a chance to get a good Flurry in. <laughs> you can do it, Ellie. Just flurry away until they hit him with a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're on me. We need the uh, the perfect counter to kill these guys. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. not a wraith skill. So that will be another day when we share that one. I'll just go find a guy by himself. Find a guy by himself. Let's see. Ah, the metal metal caboose. Are you able to stun enemies you after you hop over them? Another yes. tree for another time. <laughs> and it's uh, not in this particular setup, but yeah, that, that does exist. Now there you guys see the, the, shotgun. The, the shotgun effect of that. She had a very high hit counter, was able to freeze four people for free once she had that higher hit counter. The ice put out fire as well. Oh, mm -hmm. that's cool. I Literally. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, badumch. Awesome, let's uh, go ahead and do another one of the ice ones. I believe the next one is Shattering. Oh, it's Frostbite, which is Ice Storm Finishers also cause a critical strike, meaning if we get that off, we'll freeze someone, then light them on fire. Mm -hmm. It's a perfect combo. Like a song. A song of ice and fire, perhaps. Hmm. Let's see how many of these I can get into. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, you know, eventually you should start trying to get them in, you know, related to our own, you know, genre and universe. I think it's in our genre. I guess genre is too, yeah, fantasy. Let's see. Eyebrows, Greg, are there any specific raid skills to use on Olog, such as Mount on Olog thing? Well, actually, we're going to be showing you guys uh, a skill that does relate directly to Olog's in the raid skill tree. So, yeah. If you guys just saw that bit, we got finally the opportunity for Ellie to throw one hammer strike, and that was actually able to uh, spread that fire, which we see spreading everywhere right now. And as people are just burning as they're standing in that flame, including Talion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to hop out for a second. Let's see. Question, how much do I pay for a gotcha? Gotcha. One compliment, I'd say. One compliment to someone else in stream or on the stream. I think that's a, that'll work. Gotcha for compliments. Sure. Cool. Let's do Shattering Blow. Oh, this is a nice. fun one. Yeah, so this is basically a, a Brutalize. Mm -hmm. It's a free Brutalize without having to sneak up on someone mm -hmm. or having to get that full execution. So let's, uh, this one is extra fun because once you do the freeze on someone, if you complete the flurry, the final strike shatters them, causing a fear bomb in a way to scare everyone away. Oh, here it is. Boom. People get scared and you see some, one guy just totally got the hell out of there. Oh, oh we're being uh, assaulted from Garl the Scorpion. With his hype man. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> It happens sometimes. They just show I mean, we're in the sandbox, so somebody's just gonna show up and mess with us sometimes. Cool. It's really the challenge of all of these upgrades is making sure that whenever we have three of them, that all of them are gonna be someone's favorite. Oh, absolutely. I mean, being able to always do a critical hit so that you can activate mm -hmm. your weapon's ability, being able to always shatter someone so that you can cause the fear yep. so people run away. Yeah, if Be any one of them is just clearly the best one, there's no point in having them as options. So right. It really took a lot of balancing to get these. Which is really cool. Especially, I mean, even the last one to be able to do the shotgun effect. Yeah, that's my favorite. Huh. Now let's see. Consume. Ah, we've had this question a lot, which is, does the consume res resume? Wow. The consume does resume. It is now a similar thing where you use A and B in order to cause the consume, which is a fast drain. Which is going to bring us to another ability, not in the wraith, wraith tree. I almost said the wraith screen. The wraith tree, which is in the story tree, specifically related to draining, because it allows you to do a fast drain. So we're going to explain it from this point of view. First, we're going to point out domination. So this is an ability that you guys should all recognize. The ability to turn orcs onto your side. With consume, this will allow you to quickly, as opposed to waiting there and taking the time to fill up the meter to dominate someone, you can do it quickly by using some might, making them your opponent immediately. 
So that was the most sort of basic one, but let's now go back to the consume and let's open up the chain of souls so that people can see that one. Just a quick note too. This is a great way to brand guys that are broken That's, in combat because mm. it's so fast. So. That is a great note. Yeah. So, I mean, so if you're fighting a guy and they're broken and one of the captains, which is currently running around us somewhere, which maybe we could even demonstrate that, oh. is uh, so if we get him broken, this is a quick way to do that without having to stand there and do the drain of move itself. But let's uh, open up some chain of souls. Let's see. Let's see a comment about how sound is stuttering a little bit. You sure it's not just me stuttering over my own voice? And if so, I can fix something here too. Oh, we have a full might as well. And full focus. So we can get... So the Chain of Souls allows Ellie to send out Celebrimbor to consume on multiple people. Because she has domination attached to this ability, this will allow her to dominate multiple people at one. So the higher your focus is, which is increased by runes on the new ring, you will be able to increase the amount of people that you're actually able to just immediately dominate on your side. Which also helps for getting health back. Because it's like one guy doesn't necessarily fill all your health back when you use dominate. And so you can increase the amount of health you're receiving as well. Let's see. Uh, Drevenash says your beard looks wonderful, Mike. Today, oh, thank and, you. Uh, it was pink yesterday. It was pink yeah, yesterday. Was pink I, I was curious That's about cool. that, but I was like, I'll just let, let it lie. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, and then that Beth. one gotcha, gotcha. There, it was the compliment for the gotcha. <laughs> this is the payment. Let's see. Can we shatter caption or captains? Is the question. I actually don't know if we hit. If a they're broken or weakened, let's try. Yeah, well, we should try. Okay, I, I like the idea. We're gonna take a quick aside to try to shatter a captain real quick. Or oh, combat. Don't, yeah. Which one is it? This one. Yeah. Are you sure it's gonna take a long, potentially a long? It time. could take a long time. You know, what, for now we're not gonna worry about it because actually there's a couple things that we wanted to do at the end of the stream to sort of bring all the abilities together. So instead of experimenting now, we'll experiment towards the end. But we have Lord of Wrath now, which is one of the abilities, which is where whenever you use a consume, you will increase how much wrath you get, which is the ability to bring Celebrimbor out, so he kicks ass and does awesomeness. One of the other abilities that exists on the story drain is actually increasing health and wrath, specifically gaining wrath. So if we combine the two, a consume ends up super jumping up how much wrath you get, which we'll demonstrate now. So okay. if you, oh, Oops. well first actually we'll demonstrate uh, a Karakorgi making friends. <laughs> the guy falling off down the stairs. Yeah, gotta use her. Wrath right now, the first. So you can build back up. That's a massive guy, it's gonna be so long. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, so here's Wrath, so you guys can see the, the Wrath happen and re be reminded why it's cool. Because, wow, that was really cool, for example. Damn. Oof. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> and now we've completely used up all our Wrath so that we can show you how much it's able to fill as Ellie is able to build up her consume. So first of all, you need might to be able to do it. That guy just lit off. <laughs> oh look, a gem. Hey, there's the captain. All right. So flurry is also really useful for building up your hit streak as well. Here's the quick consume and watch the. Oh wow. That was like yeah, one fifth. Pretty strong. Yeah. So it's um, you build up wrath from killing guys as well, and but so you kill the guy, you have the extra bonus from dominate, and then you have the extra bonus from consume. You brutalize a poor, poor fool. Gotta get that might. <laughs> Gotta get that might. Let's see. So with that, let's go ahead and do another one of the skills. We have a, let's go ahead and grab the Olog one. So consume will now work on Ologs. So it's the, con and if we add that with dominate, that would allow us to actually dominate an Olog, which I haven't seen one running around. So if we had one running around, we could demonstrate how this is the um, the way to dominate Ologs that are grunts in the world. You can still do the domination thing for a captain, but for Ologs, you end up there are other things that you need to do because they are very big <laughs> and wily. Well, and in the same way, if you've got a Olog captain that you're fighting and he's broken, this right. is a great shortcut to be able to get him into your army. We'll oh, absolutely. See, what is the stuff being dropped by the Olox uh, or the Uryx? I'll explain that one real quick. 
Those are things from Mirian to gems to other like so. Mirian and gems can drop from grunts as well. So that's what you could be seeing from our treasure Uryx. No logs right now. It's no money. Yeah. We could. I would have to hide everything for a second. Should we hide everything for a second? All right, everybody, you're going to look at us for a moment. There's nothing happening. <laughs> Forget this ever occurred. Ooh, do you have a joke that we could do? Or right, are we good? Almost. Almost? Almost? Okay. All right, all right, we're good, we're good. Hey, look, we just found some Ologs and some dudes that were hanging out here. That's, uh, yeah, that's, you didn't see anything that happened before. <laughs> No, give us the game. It's, it's no worries. It's cool. Okay. All right, here we go. So now we can quickly consume this guy. Nice. Boom. So now he's on our side. Oh, but we didn't have that other skill equipped. Oh, we didn't have domination? Yeah. Like? Ah. You sure? Yeah, look. He looks like he ran we, away. We had the wrath. Oh, we had the wrath one? Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> That's just a good uh, example of why there is no clear best skill. Right. You know? There's yeah. pros and cons to everything. So that one we did get more wrath in it. Clearly the guy just ran out of here. He does not hey. like being consumed. Look at him go. Bye, Olog friend. You are nice. Oh, man. Let's see. Here's an interesting question for you, Mike. Are rate skills and their power based mostly on the power of the new ring? Yes. So it's a combination of the new ring and I think just Calibrimbo growing in power, mm -hmm. getting his hammer back. Right. Um, and I think us having throughout the project the chance to actually develop both of these characters. Mm -hmm. So in Shadow of Mordor, Calibrimbo was mainly just in terms of what he could do, just a mirror uh -huh. of Talion. But now the animations, the skills, the kills, the bow executions, the right. hammer, they really are these two kind of heroes that we've been able to combine. Oh, that's fantastic. And now we're going to stab so a guy So partly it's the new ring, partly it's just us having the chance to add a lot more right. you know, abilities and expand him and expand the combat generally. Where'd he go? Well, it's, we, can, we can do some magic again if needed. But for now, let's actually look up some of the uh, the other abilities, too, because I think we have one more on our consume. Oh, yeah. I think they're... Oh, oh no, we got everything. Oh, we have one more in the domination one, which is the elf shot one. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So this one I'll explain real quick. So this one is when you use your domination ability to drain someone, you will get your elf shot back. Now, this is an important note, because from Mordor, you can either drain a person, make them part of your team, and get elf shot. Yep. Now we've split them into two different skills. Uh, the idea now is that draining is primarily for getting health back with augments if you want to add them. It's kind of the and then you add in consume as well, which will change up from wraith of or chain of souls, wraith of souls, chain of souls to getting lots of people. To and I mean, what's fun about chain of souls too is if you, we did the. Uh, adding wrath and you do chain of souls you get tons of guys and you yeah. bump up your wrath even more so potentially you can increase it more so than you do when you combine the two domination and consume one increasing wrath so let's see bye Tark Lord <laughs> saying goodbye it's like thank you for saying goodbye and we have our final skill which uh, we'll t run over real quickly go ahead and unlock it which is the treasure hunter now this is the ability that will let you get the most interesting loot specifically now treasure treasure hunter allows you to pick up loot instantly without having to grab it but just at the top there's a thing known as discerning eye in the augmentation which will allow you to increase the loot quality that you get and quality is the chance of rare and epic right. um, drops yep so the rare and epic drops the next one allows you to dominate people faster which is kind of like if you don't have a consume available so your might or you want to save your might for something else you can use that to make it faster and then the final one is actually comes from a little bit of a unlocking various things, which uh, we'll share how to unlock it later. But uh, this one allows you to get the better gems. So if you guys are really liking upping the gems, which can increase health, damage, life steal, experience gain for yourself, for your followers, Mirian gain, it really affects tons of different things. And uh, with that, I say we should do a little mission inside there. Yeah. We have the time. Yeah. See if we can put all of this together. All of it. Do you want to unlock any other things real quick? Specifically, though, only from the Predator combat, because that's what we've shown. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me look. <laughs> Let's see. So some people are saying we have some buggy audio. Some people are saying that our audio is good. So to give us a quick one, give us ones if the audio is good, zeros if the audio is bad. Ones if the audio is good, zero if the audio is bad. Uh, Wild Festive Spy, does Shadow Kill work on Ologs? Yes, it does. Cool. Let's see. 
A lot of zeros, actually. Ah, it's only my mic again? Great. My mic is always the weird one. I got a lot of zeros coming in here. 0101.75. Zero, zero, Sounds like I'm underwater, which means likely this mic battery died again. Oh, such terror. But uh, I think that's okay because luckily we're about to move into a thing where Ellie is going to be the one who's going to be dominating everything. I'm going to grab all this loot. So I'm going to ask for an ambush. There you go. I'm going to do a quick battery change. Your second clue was my crew. And the third clue. So I'm quiet now, Mike, so it's all you, man. So we'll poop the strangler. Are you heading over for the uh, outpost? Uh, yep, we're going to do this. So these actually work quite a lot like the confrontation missions last time, so they're each defended by one of the war chiefs. So in the same way, we need to draw this guy out um, and then use this combination of wraith skills to take him down. And then that actually makes the entire region less dangerous because it deactivates the alarms in each of these outposts as well. The cry of terror. Whoa! <laughs> High five time. Three executions. Oh, uh, the, that's the bonus objective. I believe you can do it, Ellie. Unless you it's draw too him out too fast. <laughs> yep. You're kill yep, you killed everyone too quickly. <laughs> You're too good, Ellie. There's that treasure Problem. hunter slurping up the gems. Oh, very good. Slurping, I like the term. Draven Ash? Gotcha. I like the line. Poker. That U Uruk was two days away from retirement. Poor guy. Two weeks to flies, beasts. Oh, he's in trouble. And a fear of Karagors, wow. and he's weak to them. You gotta. No, oh, that would be a perfect one. But he's a beast slayer. He's, he's a little conflicted. Strong too. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, still. Interesting. So I'm seeing some comments saying that the game audio is sounding silly as well. So that is weird. Uh, at the moment, I can turn it up or I can turn it down is the extent of what I'm capable of doing. But I can also listen real quick, too. See how it sounds to us. Okay, where's Mike? Can you summon one? No, I don't have that skill right now. Let's see, so I'm still seeing a couple questions related, unrelated to our Wraith skills and that kind of thing. That's just why I'm not answering those questions right now. If you want to ask those questions, 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 it's a duck, questions at the end of the stream, I'll be here to chat for that. But for now, just focus on the Wraith. Come show me what you've got. Oof. Can you pause it for a second, Jerry? Yeah, I can pause it for a second. I'll answer some more questions, too. So, let's see. The game audio is fine. It's my mic. I just fixed my mic. My mic is lying to me. Oh. Okay, should be good. All right. Oh, now he's angry. Now he's angry. We we angered him now. Oh, sorry guys. That was an accident. Put down the mouse and it. Switch to stream starting soon, which is true. It is starting again very quickly. Oof, Ellie, you're close. So Ellie right now, during this mission, as we mentioned, it would allow you to remove the alarms here, and we're able to take this guy out. So using all the skills that we've had with the Wraith skill tree, we're now gonna, we're bringing them together. Or we're hiding up on a high point, which will also work. First, we'll get some health back. This and dominate, so. And dominate, make a friend. I'm not treating our friend very well. I'm mad. <laughs> You're mad? Oh no. Oh, and he's summoning as well. Yeah. All right. So. It's a, we've actually, just so people are aware, there was an ambush ambush that happened earlier today. So for those of you guys saying, can we see an ambush? It has happened. 
dominating the archers is always handy. Dominating the archers also allows that you get your health and then they start shooting at all the guys for you too, which is a lot of fun. Rest in peace. Oh, we're doing okay. Let's see. Uh, Silent Shadow 5. It's uh, the combat brand in Dominate is actually, the term is consumed now and we uh, we demonstrated that earlier in the stream. There's three of them now. <laughs> Oops, sorry. I actually wanted you. Let's see. Let's see if I can fix my audio a little bit more. I'm, I'm now checking the lowering my mic and my oh, power yeah, so I'm not as hard out there. Have we got intel on all of it? We've got it on the war chief. Yeah, let's look. Zugor. <laughs> Gal. Pinning. Why do I pin? Zugor. I'm looking at everybody. Sorry. Oh <laughs> your phone. <laughs> Just get him over here. Draw him under the flies. The other thing you get in Seragost as well, there's ice in some places you can drop on them too. Yeah, in the cave. Good to see you too oh. again, Arbiter Juice. Gotcha. Ah. Oh man, everybody's here. <laughs> Use your uh, your explosion when you're hitting so that freeze a bunch of people with that kind of thing. I know, but you can't freeze them when they have their shield up. Thank you, Draven Ash, for explaining that it gets heavily static. So it, if it's still getting heavily static now, then because I'm turning down my boost to see if it helps. It'd be really handy to have your wrath charge now. I know it's almost charged. That's what I'm doing. Just need a couple more guys. Oof! Oh, Ooh, that oh. looks sweet. And critical. So was that your blade that did the critical hit? Um, I think it's our armor actually. It's because our armor. Percent chance. Cool. Can we do a check on that actually? Um. It when you're not sure. killing some people. Really close. Okay, yeah, when you're killing people really close. Wait, isn't there supplies right over there? Oh, yeah, nice. More yes. supplies. So, Drain can give you Elf Shot if you set the augment. That's how Elf Shot can still exist. I'm terrified. Oh, there that guy goes. Perfect. You still have three execution sk kills up as an option. Ooh, that guy's on his way out. <laughs> Very quick. Oh, so oh. There wait, you go. Wait, I can throw him. Come on. Oh. <laughs> You swarmed. Swarmed, yeah, he oh. actually died by the flies. So the Beautiful. cool thing with that is if he does cheat death and we do see him again, he could have a pretty awesome scar from oh. that. Oh, that's they actually awesome. infect the body, lay their little eggs in there. Ooh, that'll be gross there. Mm -hmm. Squeeze inside. So with that, that's actually what we had to demonstrate for the stream. Showing you guys the new abilities. Let's actually do a quick walkthrough of the abilities so people can have the final look at it. And then... Oh, I was oh. Just say, it's nice on the map there. You can see that the... Um, the outpost is cleared oh, as yeah. well. Oh yeah, let's now sure. let's look. Yeah. Oh yeah, to be red. doesn't have yep. the red around it yep. anymore. Yeah, and there's still a bunch more of them to clear as well. I see. Tons. Perfect. Cool. I liked the comment from Ah Biscuits. The plan is flawed. The next time, Ranger, you will be mine. <laughs> Quote. So, brace of daggers, ability to throw a dagger, and then you can change up how you want to throw that dagger for critical strikes or for more targeted or more varied shotgun style. Elven light. General spread the love of burning or freezing or poisoning, how you would like to. Ice storm, target a single guy, freeze him in place, either do a shotgun blast version of that, or do something that allows you to shatter people or get critical hits off of it. Consume the, the drain, but for someone who needs to do it quickly. Basically, you can do all the drain abilities plus any of the extra consume abilities on top of it. So you can do dominating lots of people, or you can get lots of wrath, or you can get an Olog if you prefer that. And then the final one, which is the treasure hunter, get that good loot that you want to have, and uh, op 
basically pick it up without having any trouble, or have the extra better loot, dominate mm -hmm. people faster, or get better gems. And better loot depending on your playstyle as well. Oh yeah, there's that one too. Yeah. So that's the setup, everybody. Thank you for coming by. It's always a